So if you import your Captivate project from a PowerPoint documentation, for example, I'm just going to press new right here and I'm going to uh, click from PowerPoint and click on create. So if I were to import my project like this, then what you can do is as you're working with the content from the slide, you can edit that out right in PowerPoint itself. So there's an integration uh, process which is uh, accessible for you. So we're going to see exactly how you can access that out. So I'm just going to choose the default options and press OK right over there. So now it starts up with the project right over there. So now uh, once all of the slides has been imported, I can work around with this uh, within Captivate or I can edit it with Microsoft PowerPoint as well. So let the file open and over here you can see that the file has been opened up. So all of these are PowerPoint presentation slides. So let's say, for example, I want to make chains on this particular slide. What I can do is I can simply go to edit right over here. And here there's an option called edit with Microsoft PowerPoint. So I can simply go over here and the first option uh, for you over here is edit slide. Mind that this process is only applicable if you import PowerPoint slides in the first place. It does not work with regular Captivate slides. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on edit slides. And what that does is it creates temporary PowerPoint file where you can work within uh, Captivate just like this. So you can see that this is still a Captivate window. It hasn't opened up PowerPoint separately, but there's PowerPoint window within Captivate as you can see. So you can go over here and change this out. Let's say for example, I'm just going to type in TutuTube and I'm going to press save right over here. So what that does is it'll update the PowerPoint file right over here just like this. Another thing that can be done is you can edit the entire PowerPoint slides as well. So for that, you have to go over here on to edit again and go to edit with Microsoft PowerPoint again. And over here, there's an option called edit presentation as you can see. So as you click on edit presentation, what happens is that it opens up the entire PowerPoint slide right over here. So you, you can make changes to multiple slides as well if that is what you want and press save and it'll be updated over here in the Captivate slide section, just like this. So just like that, these are the two editing options. Besides that, what you have is you have fine presentation in library, as you can see. So if you were to click on this, what happens is that uh, the, the PowerPoint slides which have been imported onto Captivate are actually listed out here. So that is what uh, the fine presentation in the library actually does. The other option which is given is export animation. So what this does is it exports out the presentation animations as a flash SWF file, as you can see. And these are the features uh, for you to edit with Microsoft PowerPoint inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.